yesterday, we walked you through the digital marketing application um, to try and give you a feel of how we're creating that better experience for digital marketers. And today what I want to do is I want to walk you through our new web analytics application. So what we've tried to do is create an interface that's friendly and usable for everybody in the company, and especially for those who aren't maybe that super senior web person. And so what we've heard is that it's hard for people to get into their web data. It's hard for them to understand what's going on because the, the interface that they have to work with isn't helpful, and it doesn't tell them what they need to do. So I'd like to give you a demo of this product to show you what we've done. So here we are in our web analytics overview. You can see here that we have a nice overview of everything that's going on, just kind of a basic understanding of what's happening on our company's website. And as you can see at the top, we've built in a huge amount of filters to really allow people to slice and dice this data, because web data is both wide and deep and requires a huge amount of filtering to be able to really get into what you want. One of the filters I'd really like to point out here is this property filter. Um, a lot of websites have a number of properties, and so we've built in the ability to slice those by those different properties. This is fake data, obviously, so my website one and website two give me that option to do that. Um, but while every website's unique, there are really, it cuts down into three main types, and they have three main priorities. So we have our e-commerce websites, who are really concerned with the revenue that they're bringing in. We have media websites, whose primary concern is the impressions that they're getting on their content. And finally, we have B2B websites, which are really driving towards those conversions. And what you see here on the left hand, we have all of those here built in on the left. But no matter what your company does, everyone cares about how people are getting to your website. And so that's why we have this acquisition tab over here. And so the idea here is to give you an idea of how you're driving people to your website. Where are people coming from? What is successful to get them there and to get them involved in your website? And so because this is Looker, um, and because we wanted to make this easy, as easy for people as possible, this is all able to be edited by that person. We've also built in the ability to share all of this content easily. Sharing web data with a link is very challenging today. Um, and so this was something that was really important to our customers as we talked through with them. And also to schedule this to come to your inbox at whatever time frame it is that's interesting to you. So hopefully today you've seen that we have a far friendlier interface for this web data. And as Jamie said, we're over there at the booth. And if you'd like to see a further demo of this one or of the digital marketing application, we would love to speak to you and show you more. Thank you.